and we are back at the National Hardware Show. Uh, this is day one, and I've been walking through the show looking for some products that appealed to me that I thought that's something I would use. And I came across this gentleman right here. Uh, this is Jeff Arnold. He's the COO of a company called Smart Pot out of Oklahoma City. Oklahoma, Oklahoma made City. right here in the USA. Um, tell people what a Smart Pot is, and thanks for joining me. Smart Pots is a fabric aeration container to grow plants. So anything you can grow in a hard sided container, you can grow in a Smart Pot. It's a, a patented fabric that we have manufactured here in the United States. And we make everything from a one gallon all the way up to a thousand gallon. We have different colors, we have different styles, we have raised beds. Um, the, the advantages of Smart Pots is you're gonna grow a, a much healthier, happier plant in a smaller container because the fabric allows air and light to get through, which helps develop a bigger root mass. And if you consider plants living beings like I do, Jeff, Absolutely. that appeals to you because you're like, oh, the plant can breathe. Now, um, you know, it's very standard to put, to put a plant, a house plant or uh, maybe an outdoor plant in a plastic mm -hmm. container these days. Tell me why a smart pot is in fact much smarter than plastic. So anytime you you go to any store and you buy a, pla a plant that's in a plastic container, you pull it out, you've got those circling roots. Yes. Okay, those, those are basically strangling the plant. That's not healthy for the plant. That means the plant is just overgrown. Mm -hmm. In a smart pot, because the air and the light come through working with the fabric, what, it ha what happens is when the roots hit the sidewall of that fabric, it actually singes the tip of them and it forces them to create what we what I call a Santa Claus beard root mass versus a circling, circ circling root mass. You're never going to have that, that circle root in a smart pot where you're going to always have this big mass of roots that's going to allow that plant to uptake more air or more water, more fertilizer, more nutrients. That just sounds right. It does. It's, it, it sounds like a, a lot friendlier for the plant. I love this product here. Uh, you you handed me this crate liner. I mean, so many of us, and I mentioned I do in my garage uh, right across the right across the street here in Las Vegas. I have a milk crate that I've held mm -hmm. on to for decades. Uh, but this this liner, in fact, is sized just perfectly for a milk crate. If you want to go ahead and so sometimes you get a plant home like you know from Home Depot or or here we have Star Nursery, and you're like, ah, where do I put it? And so you can Absolutely. go right into something like a milk crate, which, like you said, it comes back also to the health of the plant, though, exactly. because water passes through, air passes mm -hmm. through, but the soil Light and the roots through. won't. And, and it, so it's almost like a breathable exactly. Exactly. Pot for a plant. We, we always say if it's, it's like if you, look, you live in Vegas and you're in the dead of the summer, you're not going to go out in this, you know, vinyl plastic raincoat because no. you're going to sweat to death Jeff, that'd and be that's worse. what happens with the plants you know if you, if you <laughs> have a plastic pot that's what's going on with them oh. and we just finished a study with the university of florida Take and they they actually found that in a smart pot growing in central florida they were able to grow a plant with a, a root mass that was 20 degrees cooler than in a plastic container what what subsequently that allowed to happen is there are some nurseries in Florida now that yep. are growing some plants that they couldn't grow before because the root masses were getting too hot, too hot, and they were killing them during the sun during the summer. So you know what's so interesting uh, with the story you just told me and so many things in this world is that you know if you grow up with plastic pots you just don't question what mm -hmm. you're raised with you don't really think of the effect of of what it is that mm -hmm. that you're doing. Um, speaking of of uh, you know things changing and we're getting used to things. This company itself has a really super interesting history that started, I believe, 40 years ago. 40 years ago. 40 years ago, a gentleman by the name of Ralph Rieger founded the company. And after serving um, and, and actually doing 105 missions in World War III as a fighter pilot, or World War II, I'm sorry. We haven't um, had that we one yet. We haven't had that one yet. We're um, holding off on that World one. World War II as a fighter pilot. Oh, wow. And uh, he came, went Amazing. into the what was the Army Air Force combined at that time, went straight into it out of high school, learned to fight, learned to fly. And he did this for many years. He retired. He 
went into being a stockbroker, mm -hmm. retired from that, and bought a tree farm in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Cool. And decided to start growing trees. What what kind of trees are you growing in, in Guthrie, Oklahoma? You know, primarily? they grow oaks, they grow cypress, Lovely. they grow a lot of different things. So it's, it's amazing. Cypress are tricky. Yeah. I just lost, we had an extremely hot July here in Vegas, and I lost two of my cypress in my yard. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I still can't figure it out if it's the mites or the heat. But anyway, we, we do love our plants. And um, Smart Pot is, well, you're getting a lot of press because of that anniversary. 40 years. Um, but also because people understand that um, this, this is a great product. Whether you live really in an urban area or you're out on a tree mm -hmm. farm, you have these in garden beds as well. Mm -hmm. Because so many people are enjoying growing vegetables and, and those garden beds. You don't have to necessarily construct a giant wooden garden bed no. in your yard. And this is this is as simple as unfold it, fill it with soil, and plant it. So unfold, fill, and plant. No construction. Cool. And they're very mobile. You can move them, um, you know, very easily. Mm. I guess maybe it's not as heavy. Exactly. And you know, I imagine you get the question a lot, like how long will it last? We, I actually have bags in the field right now that have been going for 15 years. Wow. And I personally have stuff that's 10 years old, so they'll, they'll last a, a long time. In fact, I always say that's part of the problem with our company is we, the stuff's lasting too long. <laughs> We're that's not, right. You, know, you need more, more turnover, uh, so you have more sales. And this product, it, it's kind of, there's a cool thing. That this was really designed this to do milk some crate. milk crate liners. Yep. We yep. work with a rooftop company out of Boston that um, actually did a whole rooftop at Fenway Park. In milk crates with our liners and they they call it fenway farms and they're growing all of the produce that is being used in fenway park and the catering services at the park so i love it it's kind of cool i love it anything that is made in the usa is good for my plants that i grow here in the usa is good enough for me um jeff where can people get their hands on these smartpot.com smartpots.com mm -hmm. or in, in any major you know garden center in the area if they don't have them ask them they can get them but we, we try to sell into the local garden centers because we really encourage people to buy from your local garden centers. These are these are small mom pop businesses that need to survive and it's hard for them to go up against the big box retailers. But we're also, like I said, everything is available online. Awesome. Well, I, I tell you, it took me about 30 seconds to get what you're doing and to fall in love with this company. So thanks so much for uh, letting me profile. What are you doing while you're here in Vegas, by the way? Working. Anything fun? You going out tonight? Or you going back to the Going to Piero's tonight okay. for dinner. Piero's! Oh Piero's my gosh! Piero's is my restaurant. Do you know about their salad? The, the, the garbage, garbage salad. Yes. Yeah. Forward to that.